Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Rebecca. If you haven't been here before, welcome. So today I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for you guys. I have a couple of the gifts that I ordered my family. Um, they've arrived. Obviously, I did a lot of my shopping online, so I wanted to show you some of the things that I got. Maybe it'll help you come up with some ideas on what to get your family or friends. And I have gotten the packages and obviously I'm going to wrap them after this. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I have purchased, as well as a couple things that I got for myself on Cyber Monday. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I got is this box. This is for my mom. So I have my trusty scissors and I'm going to open it up. So... I usually have a relatively good idea of like what I'm going to get my mom for Christmas. She isn't like the most difficult person to purchase for in my mind. But I wanted to get her something that was like also useful. So I got her this. So you might not know what this is just looking at it. And this might be like a weird gift you're thinking. But this is a spice rack. My mom, um, we do a lot of cooking together. We do a lot of cooking in general. She does a lot of cooking. Um, so I got her this from Etsy. I bought this. I will look up the store and put it like underneath here so you can check it out if you're interested. But this is just like a wire. It's like a chicken wire um, metal spice rack. And we can hang it up. And we're going to hang it in our pantry, which is what these are, like these little screws. And then she can have some more space because our corner cabinet right now is like filled with spices. And it'll give her a little more space to like have other things and, you know, not have things be disorganized or a mess. So yeah, I got her this from an Etsy shop. Okay, so next I have a gift that my family bought my dad. I always feel like dads are really hard to buy for. Um, so I feel like this is a classic dad gift, but we got him these slippers. Um, they are Sorel brand, and they're like a slip-on, you know, like no, no back kind of deal. And I think they're really nice, and they have like a fur lining. So I think he's going to really like these. Just like something simple that, um, that I feel like he'll enjoy. So yeah, that is what we got my father. Yeah, I always feel like it's pretty hard to shop for my dad. He, I don't know, he often buys himself what he wants, so... You know, sometimes we're like, dude, stop purchasing all your own gifts. So the next thing I am going to show you, I actually do not have physically with me, but I will put a photo up here. It is a shirt that I bought from the Parks Project, um, which is a website that has shirts and clothing and items inspired by national parks. So I bought this long sleeve shirt from my boyfriend who went to Utah a while back and went to see a lot of the different national parks there. I already gave it to him and he seemed to really like it, but I love the Parks Project because a portion of the proceeds go to sustaining the national parks and that's something that I find is like really cool. So even though the items are sometimes a little bit more on the pricey side, I feel like they have great quality, the designs are really awesome, and it's helping to sustain something that I really care about. And that's something that me and Mike both really enjoy doing is going hiking and going to national parks and something I hope to continue doing in the future. So the next thing that I got him that I haven't given him yet is this. So I bought this. It is like a little RV-esque trailer with a Christmas tree on top. And it actually, I got this from Michael's and it was just like a plain white color. It actually lights up, which I think is super cute. Um, Mike is super into Christmas, so I wanted to get him something that he could use to like decorate his space. And I painted this myself, so I just used some like acrylic paints and threw them on there. And that's how I ended up with this bad boy. But yeah, I think it just goes to show you don't need to always spend a ton of money to be able to give someone a gift. It's really the thought that counts. And like you can come up with something that's like pretty cute, pretty nice that you bought from Michaels. Especially if you're someone who's creative like me and you enjoy painting and or drawing. I would say like that you should make a gift or buy something like this and paint it. I've made quite a few gifts for Mike for different occasions. So 
yeah, I would definitely go with that if you're feeling like, you know, money isn't the best option for you right now. Yeah, I will put a little disclaimer here. Emily, if you're watching this video, skip this part. Um, because otherwise you're not going to be surprised on Christmas when you get your gift. So, move along, girl. The next gift that I got I also do not have yet because, you know, COVID shipping times. But I'm really excited about this. So I bought my sister a candle from a brand called Solterra. And I will put their information down below. And I will also put a picture of the candle here. But it is a very popular brand on TikTok. And they aren't selling right now for the rest of the year. But they'll start selling again next year in 2021. And I got her this Jingle Bell candle. And these candles are shaped like pyramids. And as you burn them, they have crystals inside that you can pull out. So you get to keep the crystals inside of the candle as well as having this candle. So I'm so excited to get it and like give it to her for Christmas. I think she's absolutely going to love it. It's such a great idea for a brand and it's great to sm support small businesses right now. So I will link them down below. So the next thing that I got is for my older sister Lisa. She just had a baby and he is so cute but I wanted to get her and her husband a gift that was you know for all three of them. So I bought her a um, personalized map from Mapiful. If you've never used Mapiful before, they are super cute. You basically get to design your own little picture and you can choose the size, what it says, and there's a couple different designs. One of them is a literal map of um, like an area that is relevant to you. So like, you know, maybe the first place that you met your boyfriend or, you know, where you went to college. These like locations that are relevant and, and have like a lot of deep meaning for you. And then the next one is like a map of the stars. So this is the one that I chose for her. So I already gave them their gift, so I don't have it, but I do have a photo which I will insert obviously right here. But basically I bought them a star chart of what the sky looked like on the night and the time that their baby was born. So they will always be able to look back and see exactly what the night sky looked like at the time that he was born. And I thought that was so special and cute. I wrote a little message below that you will see in the photo and I put his name on it as well as the date so that because obviously that is his birthday and I just thought that was so sweet. I've actually bought from Mapiful before for my boyfriend for our anniversary. I think it's just something that's really special. You can choose different colors, you can choose different sizes, and then you can frame it and put it on the wall and have this like special memory forever. So I absolutely loved that and I will link that down below as well. Obviously this video is not sponsored or anything. I just, this is just things that I've bought that I know are gifts that people have enjoyed in the past or I think will enjoy in the future. So if you're struggling to get someone a gift and you're like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be getting this person, I'm hoping that this video will help you out. So the last few items are things that I actually bought for myself on Cyber Monday. You know, sometimes you gotta treat yourself. So the first thing that I bought, which you've actually already seen, is this sweatshirt or crew neck. It is from the small business Gold Dust Road and it is a UK based brand. And then this sweatshirt, it just says Jingle Jam 79. I'm at Santa Christmas 1979. And it's just, it's just supposed to look like one of those like vintage shirts that you would get and obviously it's got a little reindeer on it and he's got like ornaments on his antlers. So I just absolutely loved this. I love like Christmas memorabilia and you know during this time when you can't exactly go out and see you know the Christmas trees or I didn't feel like I could go to New York and, and like go to the Christmas tree or really celebrate in the same way that I usually do. I really wanted to invest in you know sweaters and things that make the season still feel festive while still like being safe. So yeah, Gold Dust Road is actually a brand owned by Lucy Wood who's like one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. So I will link her channel and her shop below, but she has a lot of really cute stuff and she's just like one of my all-time favorite people. Uh, if she ever watched this video, I would literally cry. So yeah, that is what I got from her. I love it. I love the design. Um, also just wearing this with leggings because like I said, this is kind of like a cozy, comfy haul. So yeah, and then like the back is just plain and it is like a light 
blue color. So yeah, absolutely love this. And then the last things I got are from American Eagle. So, or I guess Aerie. So the first thing that I got that I haven't even tried on yet, so I will show you that in the um, try on clips. I got this set, this sweat set. So it is like a little cropped sweatshirt with a hood in like this uh, very like neutral color. And like I said, it's a set. So I got these pants to go with it, and I think, I don't own like any sweat sets. I think that is so cute. They've got this like nice tie in the front, and it matches the tie obviously like on the sweat top. So obviously I can't really show you a great image of what it looks like here, but I will show you me trying it on. And it's ribbed, it's super soft, so I got these both in a large, and I'm stoked about that. Honestly, all I have to say about this is wow. Like, I absolutely love this. It is super comfy. It's cute. I wouldn't even be embarrassed to go out in this. I feel like this is like a huge style right now. It, it has pockets. Um, it feels so nice. It feels like it's a great material. It's ribbed. It feels warm. And yeah, I could see myself laying around in the house in this all day. I could see myself going for a walk in this. I could see myself going to a coffee shop in this. Um, yeah, I mean, I literally, I love it. And it does have a hood. I honestly probably wouldn't wear the hood, but yeah, I mean, this is probably one of my favorites. And I could wear this obviously like into the winter and early spring. So this is a huge win for me. The next thing I got, which I honestly couldn't even, I'm not even going to lie, I've already worn this. I was so excited about it. I got this Christmas sweater. Um, so this sweater I got from, I think this is from Aerie, like I said, but it is so cute. It is red and green, and I just loved the pattern. It's oversized. I also got this in a size large. So like I said before, um, in order to bring the spirit of Christmas into my life, I've kind of been trying to buy some Christmas-esque memorabilia, and this red and green sweater is really, I don't know, I love it so much, and I'm absolutely going to be wearing this um, up until Christmas, and I have worn it already, so I will show you an image of me trying this on, but I just think it's the cutest thing, and yeah, I will link all of the, these clothing items down below in case you are interested and want to check them out. Okay guys, so the first thing I have to show you is this sweater. Um, I just paired it with a pair of leggings. Honestly, this is how I would wear it. Um, or I might tuck it into some jeans, but yeah, it's so cute. I love the Christmas pattern, the style, so this is a thumbs up for me and it's so soft. So yeah, love that. And then last but not least, and this, I honestly have not un unwrapped. I wanted to wait to do it on camera with you guys. So, here it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is an airy, large um, cardigan that I got. So let's see if I can show you. Can you see it? Oh my god, it's so bright all of a sudden. So yeah, it's like this cream colored cardigan. It's got these these like cute little buttons on it and I will try this on for you guys but I am so excited it's so soft I just thought it was like the most cozy looking like I could just see myself doing work drinking a cup of tea and like hanging out during the winter time in my home I don't have a ton of like comfy um clothes that I could wear while doing work and that's really what I'm I've been doing right now is like school work or work work and um, I've been looking for outfits that I can wear that aren't just my pajamas because honestly wearing my PJs all day is getting kind of old so yeah I will show you guys how this stuff looks but I absolutely love it I think it's so cute once again sorry for the lighting you know the Sun is is moving and I use natural lighting for my videos, so yeah, the sun is coming in through my video, through my window, and like hitting over here, so sorry about that, but I will show you the try-on portion. This cardigan sweater is like everything I have dreamed about and more. I love the color, it's just like a cream color. 
Um, I would probably wear this with maybe like a shirt underneath or you can just wear it itself like I am right now. Um, I think it is so cute. The buttons are really nice. It's definitely got like a little bit of an oversized feel. And yeah, I could just see myself drinking a cup of tea, sitting on my laptop doing my homework and wearing this. So I absolutely love it. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that I inspired you with some things that you could last minute buy for your family or friends or people that you care about. And yeah, I just hope that it helped you maybe even get some inspiration on what you might want to get yourself. So I hope you have a happy holidays. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell, all those youtube -y things down below. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see y'all next time with another video. Bye!